Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to detach this from Azure VM. So when I'm talking about detach this from Azure VM, that means it is about a data disk, not the OS disk. For OS disk, we don't have a you know, direct option to detach that particular disk. But when you have a data disk, how we are going to detach that, we are going to see as part of this video tutorial. Now, without making any delay, what I'll do, I will navigate to Azure portal. Let me go there. So this is my Azure portal. You can able to see I have already logged into Azure portal. And for that, to do that functionality, what you can do, the search for virtual machine here, I will search for virtual machine. Just click on the search result for virtual machines. And you can able to see this is my Azure license VM. Just click on the virtual machine. And then what we will do to detach the data disk, what you will do, just click on the disk. You can just expand this settings tab. And under that, you will see this disk option. Click on that. Now you can able to see here on the data disk part, this is the data disk I have. And OS disk, if you'll see, this is the OS disk I have, right? So there is no direct detach option for this OS disk, okay? But if you want to you know, detach your data disk, how we are going to do is, now on the data disk section, you will see all this uh, data disk those are attached to this particular virtual machine right just now now you can just slide towards the end complete and after the host caching option you can able to see this detach button right you can just able to see here detach if you mouse over here it will show you detach option right just click on that and make sure to click on the apply button to save the changes okay just click on apply button you can able to see it is showing me updating the virtual machines and it will take just few seconds to update that completely so you can able to see updated virtual machine successfully updated that uh, the changes right so you will see now it will replace also once when able to see worst disk we can able to see but there is no data disk right so we have detached that data disk existing one for this particular Azure license VM, right? So this is how you can use Azure portal to detach the data disk in your Azure virtual machine or your existing Azure virtual machine, right? So that's it for today. I thought to quickly show you how to detach your disk from your existing Azure virtual machine. And this is the these are the steps you can follow to do that using Azure portal. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure tips, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.